Check out the beef steaks. These are just looking amazing. You can see I got blooms on it. Well, you can see there I got blooms on it, but more importantly, you can see I got tomatoes on it. Look at these guys. So, yeah. I'm going to show you later on, though, how to make sure that these things don't get the blossom end rot. Uh, it's a uh, Epsom salt. I'm going to make a little mixture of Epsom salt and put on them. You can see the yellow leaves from where I, I was starting to get blight, but the uh, baking soda mix worked really well on them. So, anyway. All right, and let me put about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more in here. And that's my water out of my rain barrel, so I never really have clear water. But anyway, Epsom salt, about a uh, tablespoon to uh, about that size sprayer bottle, whatever. And we're just gonna foiler feed. This will help to get to the roots and help uh, pull out some of the yellowing in the leaves. That is not from the, uh, that's not the same stuff that I was dealing with with the baking soda. This is a totally different thing. Actually, I really need to water my plants. That's just them drying out right there. But some of the other yellowing is just uh, the lack of something. So I'm going to try a little Epsom salt. It's a cheap, easy way, and it'll also help prevent uh, blossom end rot. Let's see, I got some cherries coming on here. And they got some aromas over here. So they're not, they're not doing that horribly bad. Ooh, bottle's coming apart. So, just spray them down nice, nicely. And the basil plant will go ahead and get it. It's not looking too good. It's getting a lot of beetles on it. So, uh, huh. Guess, uh, look forward to some beetles on the basil videos coming up. But anyway. Got this one sprayed all down. And I think I'll uh, shut you off and go spray the rest of them on that.